Greetings viewers, JK95 here. Today I have a video message going out to Celine Dion, and now I'd like to say what I want to say. To Celine Dion, I'm James Andrew Lloyd Schultz, otherwise known by my rap name, JK95, or my pen name, JD Schultz. I'm a fantasy author and a rapper and a artist. I have always been a huge fan of your hit song, My Heart Will Go On, ever since I was like 12 or 13 when I heard it during an iconic scene from Titanic where Jack and Rose are at the bow together and Rose is wearing the heart of the ocean around her neck and they share a kiss at the bow. That scene along with the Draw Me Like One of Your French Girls scene in Titanic, the film that you helped do the theme song for, that whole storyline has inspired me to get better at my creativity. Starting with my drawings, I expanded out into fantasy fiction and hip-hop music and improved my drawing skills, my writing skills, my musical skills a lot. And had I not seen Titanic when I did, at the very important developmental stage in my life, and had I not heard your song, My Heart Will Go On, at that right moment, my creative abilities would have taken much, much, much longer to develop and I might not be as good at that type of work as I am today. However, I must say Titanic is one of the greatest films I have ever seen. However, I was looking through all the headlines that were buried beneath the non-stop, round-the-clock, wall-to-wall news coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I found something that you have planned that I don't approve of. That you, Celine Dion, are scheduled to perform a concert in Tel Aviv, Israel sometime. Somewhere. I can't remember the exact dates off the top of my head, either June or July 2020. You're scheduled to perform a concert in Tel Aviv, Israel. You're a good, you're a good woman at heart, Celine. I know it in your lyrics, and that is why I must say, I think you should cancel your concert in Tel Aviv out of respect for Palestinian rights, out of respect for any fans of yours who might be Palestinian, and your fans in the Middle East, North America, Europe, and beyond, that you do not perform in Israel. The stadium that you're scheduled to perform at, Celine, the stadium you're scheduled to perform at, Celine, was built atop the ruins of an old Palestinian. Palestinian village that was completely depopulated in May of 1948 by the Ergen, an extreme Zionist militia group that was operating in the Holy Land at that time. And the Ergen completely slaughtered everyone in this village that the stadium that you're performing at was built on top of. And the Ergen went on to commit the horrible Deir Yassin massacre of 1948. Just think about that for a sec. Celine, let me reiterate, I can tell by your voice and your lyrics that, that you are a good good woman at heart. So please, after what I just told you, please reconsider your plan to perform at that venue in Tel Aviv, Israel. You, you may think you're doing this to like bring people together, however, this is more, more than just a concert. For a venue. Like I said before, this venue was built atop a depopulated Palestinian village where the inhabitants were previously sl all slaughtered. And if you do decide to play in Tel Aviv, will you, pl will you play loud enough for the Palestinians trapped in the West Bank behind a big wall and for the 1.8 million people trapped in the Gaza Strip, which is basically the world's largest open air prison. Will you play loud enough for everyone in the West Bank and Gaza to hear you? Celine, you may be wondering why I, as a white American and a non-Muslim, would care about you performing at a concert in Tel Aviv and why I would care about stuff that's going on thousands of miles away from where I live. Well, for starters, number one, my tax dollars pay for Israel's occupation. Every American taxpayer 
is forced to contribute to this, and my government sends 11 million U.S. dollars per day to the state of Israel in form of military aid that is used to continuously expand and conquer and used to kill Palestinians one by one, turning the Gaza Strip into like a giant concentration camp, building up a big bad wall around the West Bank. Most importantly, you, you have been a big influence on my artistic and creative career via your, your song, My Heart Will Go On, and, the mo and that being the theme song for the movie Titanic which I believe is one of the greatest films of all time. You don't have to do anything I'm suggesting in the, this video. This is all up to you. So, Celine Dion, I know you're a good woman deep down. I can tell it in your voice and your lyrics. I'm asking you, out of respect for any fans you have who are Palestinian, fans who side with Palestine and support them, and any of your Arab slash Muslim fans you may have, would you please at least consider canceling this performance in Tel Aviv? Especially now with all the, especially now with the COVID-19 pandemic and State Department issuing a, having a level four do not travel advisory for the world, because pandemic. People shouldn't be doing concerts anyways right now until the pandemic's over and they said it could easily last into June, July, or August is when your concert date, as I saw, was scheduled to be held. Again, respect for your Palestinian fans and out of common decency, please consider selling your concert in Tel Aviv. And educate yourself on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to both the both the Israeli and the Palestinian side of things. Your own conclusion. So, Celine, hope you take my advice.